Well, good morning. I'm sitting on my back porch this morning, and it's a little bit, a um, little bit nippy. It's not too bad, but it is a little bit more chilly than usual. I just got to the point now where I leave my Bible here on the back porch, and I had left it open to the last time that I was reading and I noticed a verse before I turned the page and it was in um, Proverbs 16 Proverbs 16 and my eyes was looking at verse 16 and I generally don't make a message this quick but it basically asked two questions and the two questions are highly important because it it gives place it gives place to what's important and if you look at verse 16, it's, there's a question here. It says, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold? How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? Well, what it's actually saying is, it doesn't declare the kind of wisdom, but because of the wisdom being found in the Bible, I believe it's referring to godly wisdom. Human wisdom won't get you nowhere. Godly wisdom will get you somewhere. A person that attains to godly wisdom has got something far, far better than the purest gold. Because on the day that gold is in your hand, that person that owns that gold could die. There's been a lot of wealthy people that could literally pass away and never spend another dime of their money. And needless to say, their gold don't go nowhere with them. You know, gold is the example of the things that we treasure in our life. I mean, you, you gold is just uh, another form of income, another form of money, an, uh, 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 another, um, an, um, it's an amount. That's what actual gold is. It's an amount. And, and our amount, we're we going to leave it behind. I could, I've got a wagon. i got a wagon here loaded down with pine cones, this little, little wagon in my back porch. I've got it loaded down with pine cones. Them pine cones are destined to go to the fire. When it gets cold enough, I will stick these in the wood burning heater and we will have us a decent little fire that will last for a good long time, even with just these pine cones. Gold is another picture of, of the carnal life. A person that is wealthy and rich when they leave this world in death, they leave all of the gold behind. But see, the verse didn't stop there. 
how much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver? So he uses the word here and to get understanding rather to be chosen. Well, chosen for what? God offers salvation. He's still in the salvation given business. And he's making choices of who his spirit is dealing with. God is willing to deal with every whosoever. He made me different than everybody else in the whole planet. He made you different than anyone else on the whole planet. I'm one of a kind. You are one of a kind. He gets joy out of you and I being chosen. God chose you to come out and to listen to this little message from one little verse in Proverbs 16 and verse 16. We know that gold is not going to last. We know that our savings and our money in the bank is not going to last. But what's going to last that wisdom that he talked about here in verse 16, how much better is it to get wisdom? It's not talking about earthly wisdom. There's a lot of people that got, they've got earthly wisdom down pat. They've got earthly wisdom dead on the money. That's true. It's talking about a godly wisdom. Everything that God does doesn't have the carnal mixed in with it because the carnal is going to be left aside. There's a, a many a rich person that dies every day, and they leave behind their gold for other people. I'm having a survey done on my property in order for me to have it legally put in my wife's name in the event that something happens to me, it goes over to her, and when she gets done with it, it goes over to another family. Who cares what happens to it at that time? I'm not here to, to, to run the affairs from the grave. God forbid if I should die. You know, I'm here to utilize what I've got and to make wise decisions, but primarily to make godly decisions. Godly decisions gives you godly wisdom. That's the kind of wisdom that he's referring to here in verse 16, how much better is it to get wisdom than gold? Gold is going to pass away. Gold's going to be left aside. Gold doesn't have any value. It only has value in the eyes of the one that possesses it. I could have something here that that I could see that is very valuable, but if I don't own that, what good is it? What good is a piece of gold if I found something out here on the ground that's a piece of gold, but yet it wasn't mine and it wasn't and I didn't own it, would it be right for me to take it? Would it be right for me to just assume that it's mine? You know, what's the old saying that we used to use years ago? Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. I mean, if I found something valuable, does it automatically mean that it's mine? 
see, he talks about in this verse how much better is it to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver. See, understanding is knowing the right kind of gold. Understanding gives me the right to not worry about things that is beyond my control. My my estimation, my estimation is to just simply desire understanding than to have a whole boatload of silver. And to get understanding rather to be chosen Chosen in what regard? Chosen by God. It's saying rather to be chosen. And to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver. So here's here's what he's saying. I should value gold... If I've got gold in my hand, but he's saying you would be better to value godly wisdom. He's saying here it would be better for you to get understanding rather to be chosen. And see, he's clarifying the understanding when he says, and to get understanding rather to be chosen than silver. Can silver allow me to be in heaven? Remember there's a verse I believe it's in 1 Corinthians 13 I think. Shall I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and have not charity, it profiteth nothing. There's a lot of people that are fighting tooth and nail over the silver of this life. And I'll be honest with you, I don't want to be somebody that just throws away this life if God has put something in my in my care I'd like to be able to say that I could maintain it as long as I have breath to maintain it but the time is going to come when I'm not going to be able to maintain something if the Lord allows me to get older Honestly, the silver days of my life is fairly past. The gold days of my life is fairly past. Do I still need income to live? Yeah. But I believe that I would rather show the Lord that I'm more concerned about my life I'm more concerned about the wisdom of God and to be chosen by having understanding. And if you're out there trying to fight your way to get as much gold as you can, you're going to lay it down. You might get a boatload of gold. There's a lot of people that will seek after the cares and the affairs of this life, but when it comes time to die, they die with the deficit. <clears throat> they have a deficit. They didn't think about their life. They only thought about the gold that was in their life. 
instead of seeking for understanding like the Bible is saying here, they saw understanding in the carnal. And it won't get you nowhere. I'd rather have understanding. I'd rather have godly understanding. That's the understanding that he's referencing to in this verse. How much better is it to get wisdom than gold? It's talking about a godly wisdom. And to get understanding rather to be chosen. Meaning understanding is to be chosen of God. Things that God finds to be precious than silver. Silver's going to pass away. Silver is definitely going to be passed away. I've got some quarters on my desk in my office in there. And my grandson normally usually gets them quarters. Because he knows that he has sort of run of the mill of getting my change. And he puts him quarters up into his piggy bank at home. And he builds his little bit of income from the help of them quarters that I, that I save for him. I let to give him some of the silver that I got. I would rather give it to him. But that silver is not going to make him happy. The only th thing that's going to make him happy is to be chosen of God. Have understanding of God. Have the wisdom of God. That's what's going to make him happy. That's the only thing that's going to make you happy too. So I would quit trying to build your bank account and building up your nest egg that you're going to leave to somebody else. Somebody else is going to get it. I'm looking at raw land right here where I live. I'm, it's basically pasture ground. But I could imagine what it may be 20 years from now. There could be houses all over this land. I mean, I don't know. I ain't worried about it. If the Lord allows me to keep it and uh, and he allows me to to have something that's way more precious than gold and that wisdom is way more precious than gold and understanding is way more precious than a boatload of silver, I'd rather have understanding. I'd rather be chosen a chosen people, a royal priesthood, chosen of God. Amen. Elderly Ministry is how you get a hold of me uh, on YouTube. Elderlyministry.com is the website. Look me up. Um, be glad to communicate with you if I can, if I can do anything. I'll be happy to to help. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in.